Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be showing you how to fit the LOF Power Slave. The Power Slave fits all TD5 Discovery and Defenders and it makes the pedals super, super light. It's a nice upgrade. If you've got to change your slave anyway, it makes sense to do it. So, let's get it out of the box. Now, you'll notice on the box it says bed the clutch in for 3,000 miles before fitting. So, if you're fitting this with a brand new clutch, we advise bedding the clutch in first before you actually install the slave cylinder. The reason for that is because the power slave lowers the biting point ever so slightly, and with a brand new clutch, the biting point could just be a bit too low. So you're better off waiting and installing this after the clutch is bedded in. So, what tools you'll need to fit the power slave? Firstly, you'll need a 10 and 13 millimeter socket on a ratchet, like so. You will need a 11 millimeter spanner for the bleed nipple. And you will also need a 13 millimeter spanner for the pipe union. In addition, you will need some brake fluid and you'll also need a little bit of brake hose uh, washer hose, three millimeter diameter, just to help bleed up the slave cylinder. So, fitting the power slave. First of all, you need to climb under your car and locate the slave cylinder. Slave cylinder will be, will be pointing forwards towards the engine and it will be located between the gearbox bell housing and the engine itself. Once you've located it, you need to start by cracking the feed pipe now, depending on which line you've got and which vehicle you've got, you can sometimes clamp the rubber flexi pipe to stop it dripping, but you may find that you've got solid pipe all the way. So, once you've cracked it, you can then undo the pipe with the world's longest thread and hold the pipe out of the way. Next, you're gonna to want to take your 13 millimeter or 10 millimeter socket, depending on which vehicle you've got, depending on how old it is. Most likely you'll have a 10 millimeter head M8 bolt, and you want to undo the two mounting bolts that hold the slave to the gearbox. They tend to be quite tight, so you might wanna use a 3 8 or a half inch socket, like so. Once you've removed it, you can then pull the slave cylinder out of the gearbox and put it to one side. And then you want to take the new LOF power slave and simply reinsert the bolts, bolt it back into the gearbox so it's tight, ensuring that the push rod in, from the clutch fork enters into the middle of the slave, like so. This is a rubber boot that stops any dirt and debris getting into the slave cylinder. Just make sure that that slides into the gearbox nicely. You might want to put a small smear of grease around here to help it on the way in. And the push rod should enter through the middle. Once you've done that, and you've taught the two bolts up, we suggest about 25 Newton meters. You need to make sure that when you fit the power slave, you fit it with the bleed nipple at the top and the feed pipe at the bottom. The reason for this is so the air can rise out, whereas if you have it upside down, the air's not gonna be able to ride out of the bleed nipple. So, once you've done that, you're gonna to want to take your union that's connected to your clutch master cylinder and connect it back up. Nice and easy, really long thread. And once that's tight, you wanna take your 13 millimeter spanner and just give it a good nip, not too tight. You don't want to damage the flaring. And when it's tight, the pipe should be secure and not be able to spin. So that's tight and rigid, and it's not able to rotate in the union. Once that's fitted, you're going to want to remove the bleed valve dust cover and take the 10 millimeter spanner and loosen the bleed nipple, like so not taking it all the way out. You literally just want to take it maybe one complete turn from tight outwards. And then you want to take your flexible pipe, 
put it onto the end of the slave like so make sure it's a good tight fit so no air can get into it and then you want to go and top the master cylinder up with brake fluid dot three dot four and then go ahead and pump the pedal a number of times making sure the other end of the pipe is in a suitable jar or bucket or coke can whatever you fancy and once you start getting some fluid through you then want to take the 10 millimeter spanner and tighten up the bleed nipple like so once it's tight you could do with the second person to jump in the car and put their foot on the clutch pedal making sure to double check that the fluid level is always topped up once the second helpful apprentice has applied a bit of pressure simply crack the bleed nipple listen for any bubbles and tighten it back up and then tell your assistant to lift up the pedal once the pedal is lifted back up they can then go straight back down onto the pedal then you crack the bleed nipple fluid comes out and you tighten up the bleed nipple again before the person lifts their foot off the pedal you need to repeat this several times and then when you feel like you're getting a good pedal take it for a drive see if it will drive try and engage the gears if you have any problems what you might want to do is make sure that the slave cylinder is in the horizontal position or slightly vertical which may mean raising the front of the car the, the higher the angle the easier it is for the air to travel out of the bleed nipple so that's a top tip for when you're bleeding it td5 discoveries especially can be a pain to bleed so raising the front of the car gives the advantage of the bleed nipple being in the air once you're happy with it and you think you've got all of all of the air out of the system make sure that both the unions are tight and then take it for a drive so a bit of troubleshooting with the power slave if you've got any issues first one would be that the biting point is very low now that can be down to air in the slave cylinder so a couple of things to check that you've got the bleed nipple at the top next thing to check is that the union is tight and the pipe can't be rotated sometimes the flaring on the end of the pipe can be crushed and so it won't give a good seal so it's worth checking that and another thing is if the clutch isn't worn in enough so if you put if you fit it with a brand new clutch that can give you the lower biting point as well another trick for getting the air out of the system if you feel like you might have some air left in there is to actually wedge the pedal down overnight and that basically allows any air to rise out of the clutch system so that's a good trick uh, on the defender as well if you'd like to raise the pedal height at all you can actually do so with the lock nuts on the master cylinder this is located on the bulkhead in the engine bay you can actually move the pedal height and you want to send it backwards towards the radiator on the two 30 millimeter lock nuts uh, you can see in the power master video how to do that but you want a 13 mil spanner and you can adjust that and wind it back. And then that's pretty much it. Right, and that's our video on how to fit the LOF Power Slave. If you've got any questions, feel free to send us an email. And if you're happy with our service and the product, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. It'd be much appreciated.